I think the major accomplishment is the site is now ready to begin the erection of tanks and buildings, and we're glad to have it prepared now to begin the second phase. I'm Brian Miller, Director of Sustainability for Nicholas Meat in Logan, Pennsylvania. I'm here standing today on the site of our Sustainable Resources Facility. Here we are on Tier 1, which is the very upper tier of the Sustainable Resources Project. And what will be located here will be the anaerobic digesters and the reception building. Most of the material on this site had to be replaced because it was an unsuitable shale. That necessitated the need to haul all of that off site and then we had to replace it with uh, suitable backfill materials. And we recognized that you know, that was uh, an inconvenience to the community with all that additional truck traffic, but we really appreciate the patience uh, as we work through that. Here we are standing on the foundation for our well water storage tank. This tank will be a two and a half million gallon tank. As you can see, we got a two and a half foot thick footer necessary to support the weight of the structure. And that's pretty impressive. You think about it, there's 480 yards of concrete just in to support this one tank alone. Now, if you want to compare that to the average three car garage, which has about 24 to 25 yards of concrete, it gives you an idea of just how much concrete was poured just to support this one tank, one of 11 tanks that will be a part of this project. We're forming up the foundation for our reverse osmosis tank, which will be one of the tanks used in our water reclamation. You can see the amount of rebar that's necessary to be tied in this tank to provide the structure necessary to support the tank. The wastewater treatment facility and water reclamation has been the primary focus of this project because it'll bring the most immediate benefits to the community. This project will enable us to reuse a significant portion of that water, which will decrease that dependence on that underground aquifer. Here we are in the main drive, heading up to the sustainable resources facility. As you can see, everything's been made into a mud-free surface at this point. Behind me, you'll see one of two retention ponds that were built to manage the stormwater on the site as we construct the project. I'm standing in the middle of some recently installed landscaping of arborvitas, mulching, and some hydro seating behind me. We're doing everything we can to make the site look as attractive as possible and in keeping with the natural beauty of Sugar Valley. This project that Nicholas is undertaking is very unique in the fact that it brings so many aspects of sustainability together. The whole water reclamation, the reduction of odor, the reduction of truck traffic. There's other plants that are doing elements of that. So bringing that all together is really unique. You can look at things uh, you know, a million times on paper and stuff, but when you see it actually becoming into reality, it's just very impressive. 